Wakey, wakey, everyone. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is only slightly rainy with streaks of lovely sunshine. Hey, everybody, welcome back to We Happy Few. So it started us uh, slightly away from the bench that we rested at last time. Uh, we need to get to the broadcast tower, which shouldn't be too much of a problem as long as... As long as we don't get attacked by Plagueis, seen by that guy. No, it'll likely be a disaster, actually. It's likely going to be a huge problem. <laughs> Jeez. But, uh, taking, taking some advice from you guys might be better if we do get attacked, just to fight them outright. Might have to fight less of them and then make a run for it. Instead of just running. But we'll see. So my my fighter fight or flight instincts kick in. And it's oftentimes flight. But with Ollie, maybe we should just throw down. I'm ready. Wait. <laughs> I just noticed it makes different sounds each time we pull it out of there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, like, what is this? What was that? How can Jack live with himself after what he did to you? I don't understand how these guys are so aggroed all of a sudden. That is freaking bizarre. I've never seen that before. I'll take that, thanks. I guess we're just walking in the front fortified door. No big deal. The elevators must be up these stairs. It's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The weather is damn right it is. But that's the lovely thing about English weather. The sun always comes out in the end. So come on out, or you'll miss it. Wakey, wakey, everyone. <laughs> Good morning to you. I'm having trouble with the blood sugar. Are there, like... Oh, I don't think I want to try to get past Headmistress while she's on the job. Yeah. I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? We have people here. You know how I would fix everything if I was put in charge? No. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. Could you turn on the elevator? I'm terribly sorry. I'm very busy. Why don't you ask at another window? Oh, okay. Thanks. I will. I'll ask your friend. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. I need to get upstairs to see the executive committee. They're busy too, I should think. Why don't you ask somebody else? Oh, wow. They've got this down to a science. Okay, so you are not authorized. She's like Please shifting. The area immediately. Does she just follow me? Yeah, kinda. How bizarre is that? Oh, I see what we got going on here. Hold on, do I have any on this side? I do. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. As long as she doesn't shock me. Or maybe if I just don't go past her. This actually works. Problem solved. Uh, is there anything we need in here? You know what? <laughs> look how much- look how little money we have, actually. See you when I see you! Okay, we got a patrolling Bobby. We have two things up here.
I'm gonna have to try and take this guy down. Oh no. You are not authorized. Please clear the area. Yikes. This is a toughie. What the hell? Whoa. That is not at all what I was expecting. Let's heal up here. I also see Sally Boyle here. Let's go. Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. Why, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just oh. don't know why. You bought something from her, didn't you? Why? It was a sad... What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember. That's actually pretty sad. This, like... <laughs> sounds obvious to say it now, but... This whole thing is just... Depressing. Like, what these guys have gone through and what the length to which they want to forget this stuff. It's just mind-blowing. The spit. Oh! Yes! Finally! It's out of power. Where do I turn on the bloody power to the elevator? Are you serious, guys? Is this happening? These guys are so strong. Did that break already? No. How useless. Can't stop me now. There's another one, but... Oh, I did not mean to do... <laughs> okay. Should be good. We'll do this on shrooms, why not? I'm over here. He's probably on shrooms as well. Oh, that really takes it out of his shoulders. Jeez. Be nice if these shrooms were off. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so we're gonna have to go inside there. Let's just see what else they have going on. Ah! There we go! And up! It's actually kind of fitting that we're on shrooms doing this. I don't think I can make a uh, glucose syringe, can I? No, but I can make jerky. 
We can raise our blood sugar that way. Maybe not. Maybe not with carrots. The victory meat seemed to have some effect. But like very little. Come on. We'll see what kind of impact this has. I don't think much. You're about to reveal the truth! What? Okay, this is a big deal. Let me try pie. Now blood sugar is at an all-time low. <laughs> Sandwich? We're gonna crash and burn. Crickets in elevator, leave door open so they may escape. What the hell happened here? The food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Crapper? That's where we're drawing the line? Upsetting articles. This is... Okay. From uh, Penelope Snug to Victoria Bing. I know that you're shorthanded with Miss Holmes on holiday, however, we have now had four workers hospitalized as a result of accidentally reading old newspapers. Please prioritize all articles relating to the thing we don't talk about for redaction. I'm enclosing two of them here for your immediate attention. Uh, the O'Courant, to the editor. Enough with the bleeding heart editorials. The agitators that were hanged had it coming. If they had destroyed the register of children, the whole town would have been destroyed. Stick to reporting the football scores and save the editorializing. We don't need police looking for every Tom, Dick, and Harry that took care of those outlaw parents. What are the police going to do? Arrest the whole town? And then to the editor. I must vigorously disagree with your recent editorial regarding the vigilante action against the saboteurs. These selfish parents attempted to destroy the registry of children so that their own would not have to be hostages. Their actions were a slap in the face to every family that was sent that sent a son off to war. We must all do our duty by tradition cowards are to be hanged. Surely saboteur cowards deserve no better. Yeah, well. Terrible decisions all around, let's be honest. Mob or justice? Taxi! Thanks to a bit of British ingenuity, the Bell Pit brothers, who were too ill with measles to take the train to Germany last week, will be able to join their playmates after all. General Bing's office dispatched a taxi to drive the youngsters to Dover, where they arrived just in time to board the German ship. It was certainly a challenge to find a working taxi in these times, notes the general, but we must all go above and beyond. The old Courant wishes the Bell Pit boys a bon voyage. Uh, we've read that one before, I believe. I wonder if we... I'm not sure what we could try for blood sugar. Probably just not eating for a while would be ideal, but... Look at the executive committee. They're all with it. Won't be a problem. They'll understand. Samuel Hoar? I'm just gonna check the other side here. Oh, we have a joy. <laughs> Unlimited joy? That's great. Seems like that's what they need. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Oh, that's good. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. The tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier-mâché? 
Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. <laughs> Just don't Here, look at those. Let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. I saw. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang. That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck, you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive Yeah, committee. I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. <laughs> They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I kind of stand a smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody Oh, this everything. is going to be cool. Did you hear something? This is going to be nuts. Hello? Yoo-hoo! Hello? Here's Ollie! Hello? Maybe we shouldn't Time just be screaming? Piper Jack. This is, looks like it's where it all happens. Whoa, drugs? Shocking. Sawed off to the executive committee. I'm a skilled makeup professional. Yet my talents are wasted whilst Uncle Jack is simply too happy to come to work. The boys in the broadcast studio think I am only here to flirt with, given that I have nothing else to do. It is frustrating as I turn down a job as Davy Hackney's assistant for the chance to work in television. Fortunately, Mr. Hackney has put aside his grudge and offered me a new position, which I've accepted. I am not giving you the requisite one month notice, as I do not believe it will make any difference to you. Please forward my remaining wages to me at the Clayton Center. Not everyone's happy here. Weird. Is this his own private room? What would you have in here? Don't know how I feel about that. Where is he? Good Christ! He's gone off! He can't have gone off! I've got things to tell you, Jack! <laughs> some reason, I don't think it cares. Please do not broadcast the same tape more than once a week as the public may wonder if something has happened to Uncle Jack, which of course it certainly hasn't. It's all automated. Jack's last tape? It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's smashed. No! I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Whoa, ho, ho. Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. <laughs> you know, there are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's doll. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret. Yeah. Oh. Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen, do drop by to see these what? fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true. 
that there's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a child of your daughter would be over dolls? His what? daughter? What? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little Ooh. costumes. Did not see that. I happen. knew it was wrong. I mean, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without her, so. So I hid her. Oh, man. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Polly. You turned me in. I'm afraid we can't be in about time. Oh, no. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, oh, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. Run You're my... Neighbor. I was your neighbor. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What, what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. Oh. Have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right, right. I could do that. But you won't. What? God. God, I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, I'm doing it. What's She's happening? Not going away. I've cut the power. The bastards. There's an emergency. One of those wheelie power thingy-mabobs. Okay. That's a bit of a mind blower. I don't know, did we ever know Jack's last name? I'm trying to think back to maybe parts where we had heard it before. You're on air! Watch out, someone's coming! Someone's coming through the popper! Are you freaking serious? Stop going away! Oh my. I have to take these guys, rotate the wheel, not die. Watch out, someone's coming. Uh oh. I need to heal. No! Come on. We're running out of power. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Oh no! I think you need to do the wheel again. I'm working on it. Wow. Oh, that was a good one. So do I have to do this all again? Watch out, someone's coming. 20 seconds. Watch out, someone's coming. Oh, 
Do I have Caltrops or anything? I got nothing. I'm on fire. That's lovely. We're running out of power. Five seconds. I guess walking out the front door is out the quick. Good thing I made you get that float. We might die here, though. Buckle up. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie, too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? <laughs> we can hide Jeez. in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put all that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Just like that. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's always Starky! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely <laughs> day for it. It's a fucking terrible day for it. Lovely day for fucking war anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck the law, you bastards. Uh, I'm we... going home. Yeah, like, you're just going to hope you float there? Ah, uh, typical. I like him. Epilogue. Oh. Okay. Are you all right, sir? I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, the truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The booze run out. You have to stop digging your joy. But perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget? And go back? Oh, man. I was happy before. Wasn't I? It's like the very beginning. No, I'm going to remember. Are you really a constable? I patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do. I patrol the boundaries. Guys, we did it! Holy, what a game. What a cool experience, man. I had such a good time playing this, as you can probably tell. Uh, props to the creative direction of Guillaume. <laughs> he, uh, he's, a, he's an interesting character, and he did an exceptional job with this game. Really, really cool stuff, guys. And super, super happy for this team because they're local. They're friends of mine, and the game worked out so well. I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for them. So let's talk about, let's talk about the story a little bit. I mean, the, what happened is pretty obvious. There's nothing that's really hidden from us. 
But like, think about, think about how the story was told and like how from the beginning you're working this like office job and then it goes into this, just delves into craziness right away. And you're like this one guy who's not on his joy in this sea of people that are just obsessed with it. You can relate that to like a lot of different things in life. Um, and I really appreciated how the different narratives between uh, Arthur, Sally, and Ollie all intertwined. And what I particularly liked was how some of those experiences were viewed differently. So specifically the interactions between Sally and Arthur, they both viewed them quite, quite, uh, quite differently and even in different locations right which just goes to show like somebody's perception of certain things can be manipulated or uh, misinterpreted by the person that's actually there which is pretty cool um yeah there were some bugs in the game there were quite a few that we ran into uh i don't i think i only ran into one scenario where i had to restart and that was the simon says thing but uh aside from that there, the bugs were mostly mostly harmless we would have people that were like floating or have to pick locks that weren't there or whatever. It's like random things. But to be honest, it didn't really detract from the point of the game, which is the story that's being told about people's uh, desire to take the easy way out of things, which is kind of what they went through, right? They didn't want to remember all the hard times. And so what they do, they took joy and they not only just took joy, they invented joy and figured out ways to to uh, get everybody taking it and that was just became the norm and it happened over a relatively short period of time it's kind of scary to think about how that could happen in you know regular society you know so yeah what a cool experience i'd be really happy to hear your thoughts guys i hope that you had a good time i thoroughly enjoyed playing this for you and i uh, hope you guys got something out of it it's gonna be uh, a bit of a it's a, it's a sad moment because I've been spending so much time with this game over the last little while and now it's just done so It was a pleasure though. It was an absolute pleasure And if you guys have suggestions for other series or upcoming games that you would like to see uh, Let me know because I'll be looking to start some new stuff soon and uh, I would appreciate if you guys checked out that stuff and if you're interested in it uh, all all the better so I'll let the credits roll out here. If we see anything at the end, I will phase it back in. Uh, if we don't, then I really appreciate the support, guys, and I hope that you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next series, all right? Take care. Oh. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not <laughs> notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. It's probably so nice to just say that out loud. Ah! Okay guys, they got me. That was good. Once again, thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.